Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the Works Zip Snip. Is it functional or is it just a gimmick? Let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, I already took the Zip Snip out of the packaging. And I'm glad I did because I took that time to actually charge this thing. It had no juice in it. So I'm actually gonna continue charging this thing as I show you the packaging. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on the packaging right here. You can see that it has a four volt lithium rechargeable battery. Right here on the side, it shows you all the things you can cut with this thing. And then check this out right here in the corner. It says you can open packages, cardboard, cut carpet, gardening, that's weird. Looks like some chicken wire. You can cut some leather. Right here you see a picture of somebody cutting open some dog treats. Uh, right here, some carpet. Right here, some wrapping paper. And then right here, you see that it has a three year warranty. So yes, I know this has been out for a few years now. Uh, I'm just getting around to picking this up because it looked pretty interesting. So basically what I wanna test out is, is this thing more functional than your basic everyday box cutter or scissors or even just your knife. So I have a few things right here I wanna try it out on. I have some cardboard. I even went to Home Depot and got some carpet samples because I don't have any carpet in this house to cut up. And then right here I have some, I don't know, about one eighth of an inch thick rubber matting. Now I know it's gonna do a great job on the cardboard, but I was more curious about the carpet and the rubber mat. Because if any of you guys ever try cutting carpet with a utility blade, it kind of sucks. But before I start cutting anything, let's check this thing out really quick. Look at this. So it kind of looks like a little miniature Cirque saw. Put a little handle on the back here, give the blade some teeth. There you go, you have yourself a little miniature circular saw. And this does have a self-sharpening blade. I'm guessing that's what that little piece is right there. Right here we have a little safety switch, so we cannot start this without holding this down and pressing the top button right there. You can see I still have it charging, so you can see it's glowing red once it's fully charged. It'll turn green. And then right here at the end, we have a nice little storage hanger where we can actually just hang it on a hook and hold it down, press the button. Let me turn it this way. Hold it down, press the button. Cool. So let's try it here real quick on this piece of cardboard. So. Yeah, it works pretty nice. But just for sake of comparison, let me get out my box cutter here and do the exact same thing. And yeah, it's actually a lot faster. So that was my question. What's the purpose of a tool like this? When I can just sit here and cut this cardboard up super fast with a fresh razor blade. Well, I guess if you're actually somebody like me who gets a lot of boxes in from Amazon, I figured a tool like this can save a lot of energy because instead of constantly using the box cutter over and over and over again, this thing just does all the work for you. All you have to do is press the button and push forward. Boom. So with something like cardboard, if you're looking to get it done faster, a simple box cutter and a fresh razor blade will rip right through it. But if you're sick of using all the energy of constantly using that box cutter, I think something like this actually works pretty well. Look at this. Yeah, I like it. But what about my favorite new knife that I picked up, the Spyderco Yohimbo 2? Not only is it a great self-defense knife, but check it out. It's a great utility knife too. I mean, Looks just like a razor blade. Yeah, this thing's just gonna tear through some cardboard. I mean, look at this. Get off. Oh my God. Yeah. Almost better than that box cutter that I just showed you. So I guess it all depends on what you guys like to use better. Your handy dandy spider call you Himbo 2, standard box cutter, or if you have one, the zip snip. All right, so the zip snip can handle about one quarter of an inch worth of cardboard. So this rubber matting is only about an eighth of an inch thick. If I hold it up next to the cardboard, right here, you can see the difference. So it's not as thick, but it's more dense. So as you guys know, if I took scissors and just ran it down here, yeah, this kind of sucks to use scissors on rubber matting. So if I just keep going, yeah, this is not ideal at all. Now with the razor blade, let me start here and yeah, the razor blade is gonna cut much nicer, but as you can see, I kind of went off course a little bit. So let me try that again, right dead center. I mean, it's just chewing through this rubber mat. Let me try the zip snip here. So start at the end. Okay, yeah, that's great. I, mean, I still went off course a little bit. That's just the nature of this rubber mat. But 
Now look at that. That was no effort at all. All right, I actually want to use the Spider Co and go against the grain here. So let me just try this real quick. Man, I love this knife. It actually works pretty good, but since I'm going against the grain, I'm still going off a little bit. Let me. There you go. It actually works really nice. Let me put that back and let me try the zip snip against the grain here. I mean, yeah, this is not giving me any resistance at all cutting this rubber mat. Yeah, this thing's working great so far. And now the tests I've been looking forward to. I have a couple free samples here from the Home Depot. I wish they had bigger free sample pieces that I can show you guys, but this is all I have to work with. So if you guys have ever ripped up carpet in your house, you know how much of a pain in the butt this is to cut through. So generally you just take your box cutter and try to tear through it without killing myself that way. And look at this, I'm just making a huge mess. I mean, it works, but it's just not ideal, especially if you have a giant room full of carpet that you have to cut up into sections. So next, let me try scissors. Yeah, still a huge pain in the butt. Let me try the Spider Co. Oh my God, I'm making a huge mess. And, and as expected, it's all gonna cut through the carpet. It's just not ideal. Next, let me try the zip snip. Huh. So look at this, it's getting caught all in the blade here. So let me keep going. So yeah, guys, this is cutting through it like butter. Um, from what I'm seeing, the shag part of the carpet is getting a little caught on the top of the blade guard here. As I'm cutting, it's kind of getting caught up in this little blade guard here. So. Um, it's kind of giving me a little resistance, but it's not terrible. You can see It's cutting carpet pretty easy. All right, I just had to clean up that mess that was on my desk. That was ridiculous. But what about Blister packs like this. This is my least favorite way that companies package an item. These things are a pain in the butt to cut open So let me just see how well the zip snip handles these blister packs Oh yes. I mean, that just cut through that blister pack like nothing. I had to open this with scissors and of course you just have to sit there and cut all the way down. Um, it's kind of a pain, but this thing made short work of this. No problem at all. Let me do the top here. So check this out. I mean, look at that like butter. So I picked this up on Amazon for about 35 bucks. I've seen other companies such as Makita and Skill have very, very similar tools like this. Now, if you guys go with the Makita version, obviously it's a much higher quality than works, but they're also charging about $70 and about 120 for the whole kit. And the kit comes with a battery, it comes with a charger, it comes with a little bag. So obviously this works zip snip is geared more towards the homeowner. Somebody like myself who gets a ton of Amazon boxes in and is sick of using a box cutter over and over and over again, or I can just whip this thing out fully charged and go to work. Is it a professional tool? Not at all, but for homeowners that just have some basic cutting needs around the house, yeah, I think this is a winner. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Works Zip Snip? I mean, what do you think? Is it worth 35 bucks or just stick with your basic scissors or box cutter to cut up boxes? For me, I think it's worth the 35 bucks to actually save yourself a lot of energy and a lot of razor blades cutting up multiple boxes over and over and over again. Especially when it comes with a built-in rechargeable battery, all you have to do is plug it in when it's drained and there you go. And on top of that, it has a self-sharpening blade uh, safety switch, a three year warranty. Yeah, like I said, it's worth the 35 bucks in my opinion. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up for yourself, I will have an Amazon link below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!